So, in the Sand with Me event for Genshin Impact, you can pick one of each of the Leeway Force wow. stats to add to your team. So, in this video, we're going to discuss uh, Ning Wong, how to build her, and if she is a viable option for you to pick in the event, because I've had a few comments here and there saying they can't decide between Vado, Ning Wong, you know, whichever. So, we're going to discuss it in this video, and hopefully, you know, a guide like this will help you decide if you want to pull, if you want to get her. Or build her. So if you do enjoy this and you want to support me out, you can always feel free to leave a sub. Only 2.9% of people watch my videos are subscribed. And if you're new to the channel, what we do is we try to make Genshin Impact guides, discussions, builds, guides, gameplay, whatever the sort. Every, well, we try to do daily, but, you know, we, we might miss a day here or there, but it's fine. And recently, with, I've been thinking about branching out to different types of uh, games. So, if you've got any ideas for games I should try and cover, feel, feel free to leave suggestions. I'm always open to any ideas. However, Genshin will be the main content we will cover here. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Our goal for this month is to hit 1,000 subscribers. So, if we can hit that, that will be absolutely mind blowing and insane to me. But without that, that without the way, let's get into the video. So, I do have Pyro Residence active for my party right now. So. We're going to see like a tiny bit of a damage bonus. I should probably take them out of the party. But and while I do, it would be a perfect time to, to know the elemental resonance for Geo. So, the Geo elemental resonance is that your shield strength gets increased. And if you are under a shield, you get 15% damage increase. And if you do damage to enemies, their Geo resistance is decreased by 20%. Now, the reason why this uh, resonance bonus that was updated in 1.3 is insane on uh, Ning Wong is because unlike characters like Zhongli, Zhongli is doing a mix of physical and uh, elemental, so is Noelle, she does a bit of like physical damage as well. However, Ning Wong, because she's a catalyst user, she's always applying geo damage. Now, having their geo resistance decreased by 20% is really good because that's basically a free 20% geo boost if you've got the geo resonance applied. And as well as having a shield up, you're getting an extra 15% on top of that. And for the Pyro Resonance, that's another 25% damage. So, you can start to see where the numbers stack up quite a lot for how Ning Guang plays. So, yeah, she's really easy and simple to build as well. So, all you need are, you need quite, only a couple elemental sets. So, you need, really, you need a two-piece Archaic Petra, four-piece, you could do that, but two-piece Archaic Petra, two-piece Gladiators Finale. You can try Noblesse Oblige, but like, Gladiator's Finale benefits her entire kit, so I would like to run that. Generally, do not run attack do not run attack percent on her mask. You can run either crit rate or crit damage if I have it somewhere. Yeah, crit rate or crit damage on her mask, but it depends on what weapon you use. And what I'm going to show you here is that I'm using Eye Perception. Eye Perception has a really low base attack. How it makes up for that with the attack percent. So, if you've got Eye Perception, running attack percent isn't very logical to do here. However, it would be more wise to run other weapons that have maybe crit damage or crit rate on them. Such as, the Weird Sif is okay, however, Elemental Mastery isn't too good with crystallized reactions because it increases the, your shield strength instead of your damage. So, Weird Sif might not be too good. Also, you need to be switching out quite often for that, for that effect to occur. Same thing with Mappa Mare. Mappa Mare, as a free-to-play weapon, is brilliant. You, if, you, if you're if you free-to-play and you don't have access to very many weapons, I'd recommend the Mappa Mare over the Prototype Amber. Elemental Mastery is going to suck, but your your base attack will be high enough for it to be for it to offset that. And you get the eight, you get the passive as really good as well. You get an 8% bonus for doing an Elemental Reaction. Now, you're going to be always proc and crystallized, no matter what the target, so... That counts as a reaction, so you're going to be procking the 16% damage bonus from Map and Mare quite freely. So, yeah. Other weapons you could also use are you could use the Blackcliff weapon, or if you're a low budget spender, you can go to the Battle Pass, and I'd recommend the Solar Pearl. Solar Pearl, crit rate, and the passive for the Solar Pearl benefits Ning Wong nicely as well. So, with that underway, other things to note as well is this, your. Um, your barrier does a lot of damage if you run through, and also if you run through it, you get a 15% geo damage bonus. So already you're going to be getting a 30% geo damage bonus. It's brilliant, as well as having a geo cup because you should be running a geo cup if you're running an elemental character. You'll be getting maybe like a 70% damage increase already. 
any other five, any five star weapons are also great on her. However, I'm focusing mainly on the free to play side of the spectrum for this video. However, if you've got a five star weapon, great, put it on her. In terms of talents, generally all of these are brilliant. I, I'm leveling up my normal attack right now as I'm building her. I am saving these books for my Ganyu because I'm trying to level my Ganyu up as well. However, if you're using as your main DPS, Star Shatter, Normal Attack, Jade Screen, they're all absolutely brilliant. However, you're going to get your most use out of your Normal Attack, so level up your Normal Attack first. And then these two are down to personal preference. If you, um, Star Shatter has the lowest energy cost in the game, so that's good. However, Jade Screen, you'll, you'll use that for quite a lot of skill damage, so yeah. Constellation wise, C1, big power spike, C2 good damage increase, C3, amazing damage increase, C4 was good for a defensive side, um, C5 is another good damage increase and health increase with your Jade screen, and C6 is really insane for her because 7 star Jades are like basically, so if you shoot and that hits an enemy you'll have an orb around her, and if you use her level 20 skill with backup reserves you'll be able to charge attack without using any stamina, and when that rock hits an enemy that Star Jade will explode, dealing some extra damage. So having seven of those explode constantly is extremely high and it will be a big power spike. So, yeah, we'll try and just show her in action, really. We'll just, uh, we'll, we'll find, we'll find some quickly to fight. Oh, that, there'll be something over here. But, yeah, if you have any other suggestions for characters I should build, you can always leave comments down below. I'm happy to review different characters. I don't have many 5 star characters unlocked so I won't be able to do any on that front however if there's any like 4 stars you want to build please try out that will be fine as well so I am at a massive level disadvantage here however though Leave it all to me. I like even like at level 70 with like a low level weapon like, like level 50 weapon I am actually doing some pretty good damage already And already I've got my star shadow back up, so also another thing to note as well is that her attacks are also homing, so She's a very fun character to play on mobile because obviously I understand you guys' concerns. Like characters like Tartalia, bow characters in general are quite hard for you guys to use, from what I've heard, and from experience as well. Like I'm terrible with mobile controls when I when I've tried out Genshin on my phone. So yeah, or having an auto like aim function for Ningguang is absolutely brilliant. So yeah, this this sounds a, a character guide and build for Ningguang. If you have, I'd like to hear what you guys build are for her down below. So yeah, please take care and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.